invasive plants are plants that are from another country, so they are exotic or alien. Um, and when they come into a new country and they do grow and um, expand their distribution um, and do um, damage like this, that's what we call invasive. So yeah, it's invading our space, it's invading native um, species space. When you take a plant um, of Egeria densa and you take the position on the stem where all the leaves grow, you'll see that the leaves grow um, in bundles of four leaves, whereas our native plants, they don't have that. So we've got floating aquatic weeds here, which um, if you see the purple flowers, that's water hyacinth. Um, and then we also have the submerged aquatic plant, which is Brazilian waterweed. Um, so it's a really bad infested site. Um, and the reason why the site is so bad is because a main driver for these invasive plants are um, a lot of nutrients, so that's a lot of pollutants. So upstream from this river, we have um, farms, we have informal, settle, inform, informal settlements, we have um, a potential sewage leakage, so that um, all contributes to the system being very polluted and obviously the plants thrive on that. Um, so yeah, just a really bad invaded site and because of that we released um, the uh, Hydrelia egeriae, which is the fly for Brazilian waterweed. We released that last year in October. Many times there's also a public misconception that um, these insects will become a pest themselves. And I think, um, yeah, it's not true. I mean, we do, we put a lot of effort into proving that these insects are safe. They do preliminary tests. So they actually give the insect a variety of things to eat. And so that variety of uh, things would be plants, but plants that are closely related to the target plant, which is the invasive species. Well, not invasive in their area. And so basically it's giving them a diet and seeing from all these different plants and seeing will they eat other plants? Can they survive on other plants? So what I basically do is um, we have an invisible transect along the river here. Um, but it's basically just a square um, and what we do is we randomly throw the square out, measure the plant coverage. So we want to see is Egeria densa um, decreasing in its coverage? Is there any other plants that are growing in its um, place? We're hoping it would be native species, but um, and then just collecting plants, taking it back to the lab. Then under a microscope, I'll count the number of damaged leaves, I'll count the insects, and that will give me a percentage damage, and then yeah, just uh, also the number of insects that we have um, in the river. The damaged leaves will basically be. Uh, very discolored because the larva mines on the uh, photosynthetic tissue which is green material um, and so yeah so when the plant looks discolored I know that's yeah, yeah. <laughs>